Hey family, how's it going? This is your girl Marissa and I am back again with another recipe and another easy recipe to beat this summer heat. <coughs> so this recipe that I am showing you guys, I saw this on uh, Pinterest and it's an old Weight Watchers recipe. Um, using Betty Crocker's angel food. You don't need necessarily need Betty Crocker's angel food though. Any angel food um, cake mix will do. If you could find one from Kroger's 99 cent store and it's an off name brand, use it. I know I would. And then another thing I am using is this original country cherry pie filling. Um, the good thing about this cake is is um oh and i don't think i even told you it was a cake that i was making but the um good thing about this two ingredient cake is that you can use any um flavoring filling you want uh you can use apple you can use rhubarb if they have it you can use blueberry uh you can use pineapple and i saw a lot of different um pins for the pineapple like they were saying the pineapple cake is really good but i already had this and i think i had it for this purpose or something else and so i wasn't going to go out and buy the pineapple filling uh, until i use this one up i think i would like that but i also love cherry and all you had to do is pretty much dump the ingredients the cake mix and the uh, cherry filling in a in this bowl or in any bowl and just start mixing that's it and I'm going to put mine in a 9 uh, by uh, 13 uh, tin foil pan I love getting these from Dollar Tree you can also use it in a cupcake um, a cupcake um, container as well and I have um, that and I was thinking about doing that but I really rather make it as a cake and the instructions just say once you um, get them together just make sure that you mix it so you don't see any of the cake mixing the dry mix It's looking pretty good so far for a minute. I was wondering if I needed to add some milk or something to it, but nope. It said just these two ingredients. Oh my god, and do you guys see the cherries? They are popping up in here. They're so nice and big. I'm just looking at the um corners now. To see if I see the cake mixing and anywhere I see the dry cake mixing then I'm trying to use the wet part to cover that here we go so far Okay, so now I think it's ready. We're going to put it in the pan. And I have my oven preheated to uh, 350. And they said to keep the cake for 30 to 40 minutes. So what I'm going to do around 30 minutes, I'm going to check back and see how the cake is doing by doing the uh, toothpick or, um, in my case, the fork test to see when that um, when I check the cake make sure it comes back clean so I'm just kind of distributing it to all the corners and I don't know if you noticed this on camera but it is kind of foamy this is exactly how they said it's supposed to come out 
It reminds me of like a um a pie filling. Well, duh, it is a pie filling, Marissa. But I mean, like you know, making a pie or making the Kool Aid pie. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Now I'm going to get a big spoon. Let me wipe it off so I could get the rest of the remaining ingredients in here because it's still a lot more. It reminds me of jello pudding, too. I could smell a hint of uh, the cherry um, flavoring in it. Doesn't smell bad at all. But I can only smell just a hint of it. to taste it a little bit it tastes nice it's like a it's not over sweet and it has like this little fluffy consistency it tastes really nice so let me see show you how it is looking I am going to put it in the oven for the 30 to 40 minutes and I'll come back in another video and show you how it looks I know I always say that but I really will you guys I'll come back and show you um, and give you show you the taste test part of it so again this is my cherry pie my two ingredient angel food cake cherry pie I mean cherry cake I'm calling it pie already cherry cake and I use a 9 times 13 um, container any other information that I need to give you I will put it in the inbox including the ingredients I use and also the steps that I followed okay I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe I know a lot of you enjoy my uh, food recipes and I enjoy bringing them to you because I have fun doing them and have fun also eating them thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video please don't forget to rate subscribe ring that bell and tell a friend until next time guys bye bye